Today on NTV, we're going to talk about how 4K video lets you focus on the right part of the frame. Hi, I'm Tim. And I'm Tuki, and welcome to Learn TV. Today on Learn TV, we are going to talk about why 4K video recording. Because obviously, Sony has announced a few, you know, really cool products, 4K video recorders. Uh, the first one that we're going to talk about is the AX100, which is right here. A really good consumer, but also a prosumer uh, type of handy cam, because you have all your manual controls, really good lens, you know, la large one-inch sensor, and the ability to record 4K is, is awesome. And the other really cool product that we have here is uh, the Xperia uh, Z2. Um, which, you know, on top of having, you know, still have the waterproofness, uh, faster processor, more RAM, better screen, uh, the, one of the new things that you will see is actually you can record 4K videos. Okay? Oh, not bad on a smartphone, eh? Yeah, that's right. So, uh, Tim, having those, you know, 4K video recorders is a great thing, but most people today still have full HD TVs, so why do they need a 4K video recorder? Yeah, that's a good question. But First, before we get into that, we really need to understand exactly what 4K is. Hmm. Well, we've talked about this a little bit before on a previous Loon TV um, episode, but just as a, a quick sort of reminder, Full HD TVs like this one here have got 1920 by 1080 pixels on screen. So the so, little dots on the screen? Yeah, yeah. All, of the, all the little dots that make up the picture on the screen. On a 4K TV, you're looking at four times that resolution. So we now have 3840 by 2160 on a typical 4K TV. So because you've got four times the resolution, clearly you're going to get a much more detailed picture. Um, and it becomes pretty obvious when you just do something like this, we just put some blocks down here and you yeah. can see when you're dealing with something like Full HD like this side here it's only got the ability to capture a certain number of, uh, of pixels and so therefore detail can get lost yeah. and you know individual picture elements um, and you know those sort of final gradations get lost when you're um, you know compared to something like 4K on this side. So that's the first thing about it you've got much more detail, um, sort of more realistic looking pictures. And it's not just for video either, because we're talking about eight megapixels for each individual frame right. of video. Mm -hmm. So that means that you can take a video frame, uh, you know, kid jumping on a trampoline, something like that, and you can pull it out, and you've got an eight megapixel still photo, which is perfectly adequate for printing out. So, uh, you know, good awesome. still photos and good video at the same time on a 4K camera. There's a couple of other tricks as well, because you've got those extra pixels as well, a few sort of pixel manipulations that you can do, for example. Yeah, so the, the first thing we're gonna talk about is like stylization. So, Tim was just mentioned that, you know, 4K, you have a lot more pixel, a lot more details. With Full HD, what happened is, you know, you can actually crop it down and with stabilization inside a software like you know Vegas in, in post editing um, you, if you have movement on your camera you can actually add uh, some stabilization to, to the actual video so this is actually me like going down down the hill uh, and this is now like stabilized but oh, unstabilized sorry oh, so is unstabilized? <laughs> oh, sorry this is not stabilized this is the original this is the original nice and shaky and as we you know add the stabilization you'll see there uh, the video is, you know, way more stabilized, easy to actually work with to put in your production. Yeah. So um, if you, if we pause it, it's probably easier to see what's actually going on here. So you can see we've got this is the stabilized view, view, and that's the unstabilized original image. So you can see we are cropping into it a little bit, but you have to keep in mind that you've got four times the number of pixels on there, and so therefore cropping into it really doesn't matter too much at all because you've got so much extra detail to be able to. Um, reproduce these images. Yep. So there's a few other things you can do with cropping as well, such as reframing, right? Yeah, if uh, you have a look at the video right here, this is like the 4, 4K uh, video, uh, you can actually select part of the screen and you can actually, you know, have that white square there, which means that it is actually going to display just that part of the image. Or if you just wanted to have the, the, the people walking on the side, you can actually, you know, square that to there. Alright, so looking at it on the TV then, yep. so you've actually, this is still a full HD image, but you've got the ability to actually reframe it. Yeah, so this was like the 4K video, but uh, if I go back to the, the actual cropping, yeah. Awesome. I can basically change different parts. You can of the shift image. around and inside the image and still get a good 
high resolution image. Right. That's very cool. It's actually really useful for people who are doing a bit of editing as well. Um, I know, having done a bit of video, video editing before, if you ever try to edit somebody who's doing an interview, um, for example, yep. often you'll want to take out their little ums and ahs and, and some of the you know, information that you're, you're not you know, necessarily needing. Um, so the ability to actually reframe an image means that you can take one camera uh, and make it appear like you've got you know, three or four. So here was the original shot, for example. And here's, you know, another frame, so we've got a bit of a tight shot. Um, and here's another one, we've just got, you know, a little bit of his, uh, his hands moving there. So we've, we've got, you know, a variety of different shots that we can choose from, all coming out from that original shot, and all of them at, at least full HD resolution, so all perfectly mm. usable as well. So, you know, it's, it's something that's pretty exciting, even if you're only using a full HD TV or putting your video for only full HD, being able to capture it in 4K resolution means you know, a number of benefits in terms of what you can do with it, but also, obviously, if you're recording your memories, the key thing is that you want to be able to record in the highest quality that you possibly can, so it's going to look good many years from now exactly. and into the future, right? And as you were saying, Tim, like having that 4K kind of master, if you actually bring it down to full HD, you actually have a better quality video in full HD. So right. I'll just show you a quick Quick little demonstration here. We have like some uh, some old school tapes, <laughs> just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So uh, I don't know if you remember when you had tapes. Uh, you know, if you had to copy uh, the the song from this tape to that tape, as you copied them along, the 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 quality degraded. Yeah. Okay. So think about it this way. This is like full HD, and if you like, you know, compressing it to or to uh, full HD, you will actually lose some of the quality. Now, um, think about 4K like a, like a CD. So once you had this CD digital master and you were putting it down to tape, this was the best quality you know, audio that you could get because you were downscaling this good quality to a lower quality. So same thing with 4K. You're downscaling from really good video 4K to full HD and having actually more details. In yeah, that. so loads and loads of benefits of uh, full, uh, 4K recording, sorry. Um, and something that, uh, you know, that you're gonna see a lot more of, obviously, once it starts to make its appearance in smartphones, um, there's plenty of other cameras that are gonna have it as well. So uh, thanks for watching, hope you picked up something. We'll see you again next time.